We're often amazed by the skill of the surgeons here at French A Hospital. And in our next story, we're meeting a teenager who's hoping that they can transform her life. Scarlett Cook suffers from epilepsy. It's a condition that's usually treated with drugs, but the team here at Frenche are offering a more radical treatment that offers the prospect of a permanent cure. Our health correspondent, Matthew Hill, has been finding out more. How are you, Scarlett? How are you feeling? Hi. Okay. So, I'm planning to do this operation. Do you want to ask me anything about that at all? Mm, no? Scary. A bit scary, I'm not surprised. When you wake up, you might have a bit of a headache, but it won't be that bad. I'm going to try not to shave too much hair from you as well, OK? Mm -hmm. It's a little strip of it around where the cut's going to be on your left-hand side, OK? Around that. 15-year-old Scarlett Cook from Exeter suffers from severe epilepsy. She's about to have an extraordinary operation, and it could transform her life, but it'll mean disconnecting half of her brain. I'm terrified. I can't sort of put my mind to anything. I'll just be, I'm looking forward to it. All been done and Scarlet back from theatre and everything been okay. Scarlet's been offered surgery because medication is failing to control her epileptic seizures. Her condition's been getting worse. Today's operation will be about eight hours long. Scarlet's parents, Esther and John, are hoping they've made the right choice. Can you open your eyes, Scarlett? OK, guys, if you want to give her a quick kiss. Okay. Then we'll get you back to the ward. Okay. Scarlett was born with mild cerebral palsy. It left her with limited use of her right arm. As a toddler, she had episodes where she didn't appear fully conscious of her surroundings. Brain scans revealed she was having epileptic seizures. In fact, the whole of the left side of her brain was so badly damaged that all of her functions, speech, movement and memory, were taken over by the right side. That's plant uh, Now, despite heavy medication to try to stop the fits, Scarlett's epilepsy is out of control. Both of her parents have had to give up work to look after her full time. She's fallen down flights of stairs, burnt herself. She can have days in a row where she doesn't have seizures at all, but days where she's having up to 12 in a day. She loses um, all her memory for before the seizure, during the seizure, and after the seizure. She sleeps for a good hour after every seizure, and is so losing huge parts of her day. So Scarlett, this is your room. Very nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What's that noise? It's my budgie. Oh, gosh. Do you know what happens to you when you have a seizure? Well, I w won't remember anything if I do have a seizure, but when I come around, I'm on, either on my bed or the sofa. And how do you feel when you come round? Wobbly. So you'd rather you didn't have it? Hmm. What are, you, what are you hoping about this operation? Get over and done with it. It's scary, though, to be in such a big operation. To assess Scarlett before surgery, she was under observation in the hospital for 48 hours, with the electrical waves in her brain being monitored. As she goes into seizure, the electrical activity becomes chaotic. Interestingly, this is a seizure, but it's not the kind of seizure that people would conventionally think a seizure should be. She's not thrashing around on the, on the floor, she's not foaming at the mouth, any of these things. But it's a great stress on the brain and the body and there is indeed an incidence of death in it during seizure activities as well. And This is one of the reasons why it's worthwhile considering fairly drastic surgical manoeuvres to try and reduce the risk of these things from occurring. What size are yours? Five. Size five. On good days, Scarlett's able to enjoy normal activities. Wish I could get a stripe on my neck to go. Very good, you've got very strong arms. It's only because it's the only one that works. Every year, about 100 children like Scarlett in the UK undergo major brain operations for epilepsy. 
Neurosurgeons believe four times that number could be helped by surgery, but many families are too frightened to agree to such radical procedures. We are really nervous about it because we're not knowing what to expect afterwards. She's got quite a fiery personality as it is. We're worried about her personality changing. Lots of things could change after the surgery. It may be a failure, it may not cure her epilepsy. She may be able to live the rest of her life without seizures. It's just that fear of the unknown. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Girls rock, boys boo. Ooh, ooh. At French A, it's five hours yeah. into Scarlett's operation. You go all the way around the corpus callosum, just off the midline. I've got a little thing there bleeding. Surgeon Mike Carter is cutting through the tissue that connects the two sides of her brain. So why are you dividing the two parts? Well, this is the way that electrical activity from the bad side gets to the good side to cause seizures. So this side of the brain that I'm leaving here will still be alive. It'll have a blood supply and it'll probably be seizing away to itself but it won't be connected to the rest of the brain. And hopefully that'll be reflected by um, a dramatic reduction in her seizure disorder. At last, Scarlett's brought into recovery. The medical team are feeling confident. The next couple of days will still be critical. Hello. So she's doing really well. Yeah. Really couldn't have gone better. Right, so let's just fingers crossed it's gonna do what we want it to and that we don't have any problems in the next 24, 48 hours. Yeah. Okay. Four weeks after Scarlett's operation, and I've come back to Exeter to see how she's doing. Mm -hmm. Scarlett, come on in. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, good. Sure. How different are you to before? I can't actually have a bath. <laughs> that's, I think that's quite what they're looking for. <laughs> you can have a bath. What, and do things for yourself. Mm-hmm. And you haven't had any seizures since four weeks ago, since the operation? Mm-hmm. Yes. That's brilliant. What do you think of that? Get time to get used to not having any. In many cases, the operation simply reduces the number of seizures. But in Scarlett's case, it appears to have put a complete stop to them transforming the family's life. It's been great just being able to wake up in the morning and plan a day and see the day through to the end without having to change your plans suddenly or bring Scarlett home from being out. So it's been brilliant, really good fun. <laughs> and so all that worry was worth it? Now I can say that all that worry was definitely worth it. This is the longest we've gone in 15 years without a seizure. Yeah, I think it's amazing how, how quickly she's bounced back from seeing her the day she came out of surgery when she really wasn't looking very well, I didn't think. <laughs> um, I certainly didn't feel very well. <laughs> um, but to how she is now is just incredible. Scarlett's already showing more interest in things, wanting, asking questions about things, wanting to try new things. You know, I'm hoping that educationally things can improve for Scarlett socially, that she can mature and go out and start leading the life of an average 15, 16 year old. Are you going to taste your cake mixture? Mmm, yum, yum. Nice? Mmm, mmm. Mmm. That's what we call lovely. Mm.